What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we got a Jojo character today. Uh, Avidal from Stardust Crusaders. I think he's the last Stardust Crusader, apart from Iggy. I haven't done Iggy yet. But uh, yeah, so let's go on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast. So we're gonna start with his eyebrows. I think it's the easiest place to start. So we just start with a, just find your center point. I'd say, and just, that's where his nose, I'd say, would be. So we just come up a little bit, and we're gonna start with his eyebrow. So it's like just a big tick. Like that, okay. And then the other side, it's got a bit of like spiky fur or something, hair there. And then we'll bring this up, like so. So it goes under his headband, so, it like goes up under here and the headband comes across so you can finish that here if you wanted or you can leave the gap it's up to you but it's it's hidden anyway from the view we can't see it so then the other eyebrow diagonal there tick it up like so and then we do sort of a hair line just there and then we go up the other side and that goes up underneath his headband as well Might as well do that headband, I guess. So, just comes across, like so. And then, we go down here. Nice. So, his eyes then, just underneath his eyebrows, they're like connected to his eyebrows, right? So we go diagonal down here we've got like some eyelashes sticking off like so comes down change direction goes back down that way comes across the bottom like so and then into here and you can thicken up these lines a little bit and maybe add like a few more eyelashes just here because you know it's Jojo so and then his eye, so like a circle just with the top cut off. Just there and pupil in the middle. And of course in Jojo, he can have like highlights just sort of in his eyes. Like that kind of stuff. Okay, two of them usually. Like so. And then we go over and we do pretty much the same thing on the other side, so. Yeah, so we'll go down diagonal. Sticking out, sort of a thick line, and then we change direction down here. And then we will bring it across. And up into here. And we can add a bit of thickness to the line and some eyelashes just coming off here. Like so, and then circle with the top, cut off just here. Like so, people in the middle, and then some highlights and stuff just sticking off, like so. Okay, so uh eyelashes yeah okay so his nose then right so we got like frown lines right he's real frowny sort of frown lines coming up this way like so this is so this is just the start of his nose it's like the top it's all connected so we'll just do the the brow first and then we got sort of brow lines in the center so like coming up this way with the center of his head. Coming off like so. And then his nose then, so it kind of curves down first on that side and then it goes down like so. And then around the front. 
back up and up the other side a little bit just there this is the bridge of his nose okay and we got like hatching lines coming across like that there's all hatching on his forehead as well but i'll wait to do that i'll do it all at once so then we've got another line underneath right so it's got like curves up and down for the nostril it comes down the middle goes back up the other side and curves up and back then this side as well okay that kind of shape and then we got like a nostril line there and a nostril line here So we have a shadow area underneath, underneath this, right? So, yeah. So we've got like, is there a line as well? It might be a line. So I'm gonna try it with a line. I might have to erase the line, but we'll see. So we've got a line coming down like so. Okay, just around and underneath. Yeah, it's not bad. And then there's like hatching shadow lines here. Like that. And then a nostril line inside here. And a nostril line inside there. Okay. So then on his cheeks, we've got some hatching lines coming down his face, right? So it like comes down like this. So, and then something similar under his eye, coming down his cheeks here. Um. Oh, he's got like an eyelid line just here as well coming out from his eyebrow. And this has sort of hatching lines on it too. Like so. Okay, so his mouth. So big Jojo lips and Jojo characters, right? So we've got like big top lip line goes up, curves down, back up, and down the other side, right? And then the center line, similar. So it always reminds me of the handle of a bow and arrow, that line, okay? And then similar sort of thing. So for the middle, a bit more curvy, like that. Back up the other side, down and out to there. And he's got like a line just sort of in the middle of his lip. Like that. So that's his top lip, okay? And the middle line for his mouth. And then underneath that, we got another similar curved up, down, back to there. Okay. And a bit of a zigzag sort of shadow on his chin. Like so. So his chin then, just down here. Real square chin, like that. So you can check proportions and things now. So eyes to nose, it's about the same as nose to chin. Well, eyebrows to nose, right? Because he's frowning quite heavily. So I'd say eyebrows to nose, bottom of his nose, about the same as nose to chin. And then bottom lip line is about this to the chin, is about the same as bottom lip line to the nose. See that? This. Big bottom lip line. Here to here, same as here to here. Got an extra sort of frown line just here as well. Something like just there. Just gonna darken up some of his eye lines just here. Okay, so once you get your proportions, you can go up the side of his jaw, stop about the edge of his eye, 
just here at the corner because that's where you change direction Up. About there as well and then we change direction just here and we so it's a, like you stop sort of corner of his eye or his eyebrow right just here across from his mouth and then you change direction and go up the side of his face And then we got those Jojo sort of face lines, right? So we got like hatching line here and then down like so. That kind of thing. So then ears and sideburns. So ear just here. Connected to the sideburn on the side of his face. And then this comes down. Round underneath. Similar on this side, sideburn connected to the ear down. Round to there. Then bones and ligaments inside. Like that, kind of like a letter J just in there and you can have some more lettering or sorry <laughs> lettering uh, bones and ligament lines if you want like so right so the rest of the headband so that he has so it like comes down and then bumps around the side here Okay, bump around the other side as well. Okay, and then they sort of crisscross down the center. So, like this comes down this way. This line will go a bit further. And then the line coming down like so. Here. Here, here, line there, that way, and there. So his head, so we've got like all these cylinders, right? So uh, it's kind of just the way his hair is done. So we'll just do two in the center first, right? So we got like. No, we'll do the one in the middle. So one like right here. So you start with an ellipse. So if you're wondering how high up you want to put this, so I would say the eyes are about halfway between the top of the head and the chin, right? So chin to eyes is about the same as eyes to top of the head here. Or like eyebrows even. So here, yeah. So eyebrows mark about halfway between here and the chin, okay? So then once you get that, we'll add a cylinder like this. Okay, and it's got like a curved bottom on it, just there. Then there's two on the outside edge of this, right? So we do an ellipse on top, or like an oval, just there, another one. Somewhere like here on the opposite side, and you go down. Diagonal, like so. And they have gray um, things along the bottom as well. So they have, I don't know what they are, but it's like, the, it's how the hair is tied up or something. Like so, and then something here. Like 
that. And then two more on the outside of this, and they're kind of like turning around the back of his head, right? So you have one here. Right, and then that comes down. Like so, and around the bottom. To there. And then we have another one over this side. Like so, and that sort of curves into here. That gray section in there. And then there's two here, and then one, two, three, a couple more around the outside, right? So one here. And then one here. So like. So, to there and top of his head, I think we can see just here. That's like his skull, I think. <laughs> there and then. Another cylinder sticking out here goes in, touches the top of his head just there. This comes down. This is like probably the complicated, most complicated part of Avidal. <laughs> Didn't expect this. Um, so then, I think there's another one here somewhere. Curves out to there, down. There, another one in behind here. Another one in behind this one. And then something in behind here. That's the basic idea for that. Anyway, so his neck and his necklace and things. So these are all circles. So if you had something circular you could draw around, they gradually get bigger. If you have a compass, maybe that would help. If not, just try and wing it. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go. So we've got a circle. Uh, coming out from the base of his ear. And we go all the way down and around the other side. So next one. There, next one. This, so we're going out and around like so. This kind of like so, and then we do pretty much the same thing on the other side. So, one, two, three, four.
So then the next one out and around again. And we keep going. Another one. This is what we're kind of aiming for. So again, if you had something circular that you could draw around to do these, it would help you out a lot because that's, you know, it is pretty tricky to draw freehand circles. Compass would be the ideal thing, or one of those rulers that has circles of like different sizes in it and stuff like that. But that's the basic idea. And then he has all patterns inside that, right? So we've got like circles, lines like this, okay, and then like like a letter, a capital letter D or something, just like these. And these are like golden sort of talisman type things. Okay. These kind of patterns. So similar to this one. I think it's it's just this one and this one that's actually different. The rest are like this. This one has like a circle on top. So like there's a circle I think in every one of them. And then we got these shapes, like a capital letter D. And then this half moon or crescent moon sort of shape in that one. Oops. And And then just these comma sort of shapes. Okay. 
Like so, okay, so he's got like a big scarf and his neck is just in here, right? So the scarf is gonna come along the front just underneath his chin. So it's gonna like wave and bump just along here. And then we got like neck muscle line, neck muscle line, and like Adam's apple sort of throat area. And then he's got hatching lines coming down here. So, and maybe like neck muscle there and here. So like real wide neck, okay. Like some hatching or something there. Hatching there. And then the rest of his scarf comes out this side and like so. Goes back in. Back in and down the middle. The other side back over. This is like just a fold, you know, for his scarf coming out here and then the opposite side fold it out this way and fold line fold line then the other side can we bring it out and down into there and it comes out into there down to there and a couple more extra full lines inside and something else inside here full line in there something similar on this side Okay, so nearly there, just his big shoulders now. So I couldn't fit like his, all of his shoulder in on the page. So we can just get out to like his shoulder pad here, right? So the shoulder pad will bump around real tall and come down this way. Okay, and then the inside of his jacket just here and the seam of his jacket comes around here and we got some like lines coming down and Avidal has these like circles or something like on his jacket like that and then the other side pretty much the exact same so comes down do the shoulder and then this curves down like so the other side curves down like that and then seam lines like so, lines like so, and that and the inside like so. But that's it, I think. Yeah, how to draw Avidal from Stardust Crusaders. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.